there, it's me Mary again after a long time and yes I'm not dead yet and I think I came back I'm not sure yet but yeah I didn't have much motivation this month so I wasn't here but here I am I think I came back to stay and yeah I'm still trying to figure it out where I can record to have like a better lighting so I think this is the place but yeah I'm not sure. Uh, I do apologize for my face because I couldn't sleep for about three, uh, three days I was going to say three years no, not that much uh, three days probably and yeah I just took a coffee and yeah, I'm trying to stay awake and record this video and I still want to record one one more about art supplies so if you want to learn how to say the names of the art supplies in Portuguese just stay in the next video and yeah I'll publish it so. and I do apologize for my fingers as well because I was working with paint and I was painting something for my friend and yeah like her birthday is in December yeah or November and I'm planning already her present because she's important to me so yeah I tried washing my hands like three times and I couldn't take this off so well, it will stay here for a long time. For this video, I thought about talking about the language that I'm personally learning, that is Welsh, that is spoken in Wales. And I was like, okay, but what can I talk about it? So I decided to talk about how am I learning it. And the answer is by Duolingo. Yeah, uh, many people do complain about that app and about the website and everything and I was uh, one of these persons. Okay, I gave up on the light and I decided to be comfortable instead of it. So I can stay here in the couch and yeah, be comfortable. So I decided to make this video to talk about how am I learning Welsh. And without like any preparation for this video, I just thought like, okay, I need to make videos that like I feel motivated for and I can be myself, right? Like when I was recording before, I just thought like, oh, I can't move because that will make the video like strange or with a bad lighting or something like that. And I was like, no, 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 uh, that wasn't me. So I thought about starting again and in a different way. Like, I won't mind much about the camera and. Oh, this is my dog. <laughs> Her name is Little Star or Estrella. Um, I was thinking, like, Okay, I need to be perfect on camera and everything and I was like, no, this is not me. I need to start over again and maybe do something different and be myself. And here I am, here I am and I'm starting this. Okay, so about my Welsh learning journey. I'll be talking about how am I learning first. Um, well. Some years ago, when I was traveling abroad, I went to Wales and I really loved the country and the people and everything there and like everything was perfect there. Well, okay, the wind was quite awkward because I was almost flying with the wind because it was really strong. But besides of that, it was perfect and I loved a lot, a lot. And I was like, okay, not many people here speak Welsh anymore. 
so okay should i learn welsh like okay the language won't be here anymore in some years because the people that were born there they just don't want to learn the language or those who want or who learned when they were kids they are just like a few people and I was like okay do I really want to learn a language that won't exist anymore in a few years and the answer was of course I want to be like one of these few people that speak Welsh and I was like, okay, but how can I learn it? Like, I'm already, uh, I'm already learning German, I'm already learning Japanese by that time, Korean nowadays, and uh, what else? Yeah, I think that was it. And I was like, okay, but why Welsh? And how? And I started searching how could I learn the language and I came to a nap not a nap it was like a website or something it was like a family government or something like that I don't remember because it was like two three years ago and I was like okay let's see and I went to that website and I was like oh my god this is so like serious to me I want to learn like uh, in a way that I can have fun with it and okay uh, I didn't find any other way besides of Duolingo and I didn't like Duolingo by that time so I was just like okay let's give it a try let's give it a try and it turned out that I didn't really like the website and I gave up so I was like, okay, this is not for me yet, maybe I should focus on my other languages and maybe in future I go back to Welsh and start again or something. And okay, I gave Duolingo a try. I just went to Duolingo and I was like, okay, people love that much and I should try to use it again, maybe I was wrong or something. And I started using the Duolingo to learn Welsh. And I was thinking like, oh, the phrases will be like really awkward and it won't make sense to me, like I won't ever use them. But they aren't that awkward, at least for Welsh. And I decided on learning that. And like I completed my 30 day streak and yeah I missed one day because yeah <laughs> I was traveling and I just couldn't just couldn't do it so I skipped one day and then I started over again and now I'm in day 26 or something like that and I plan to turn like six months straight. I really hope I can do that. So yeah, wish me luck. So, yeah. I started learning on Duolingo and I kinda like it. It's really nice. Um I can do a lot of things there and I can even compete with other people and sing the ranking and I like this gaming thing. And it's giving me like in the game. So I'm enjoying it. And what else I was going to Okay, say. talking about why I dislike it uh, Duolingo before and now why I like it. Well, I used to dislike the app because I couldn't see the grammar points in the app. And this is still something that I don't like. But if I go to the website, I can take a look and that is really helpful and I can do all this, um, I forgot the name, but maybe stars or something in each level so I can learn better and I completed like a lot of those things that I forgot the name 
and it's like five for each level or something. Yeah, for each group of words and phrases and yeah, I forgot the name. Anyway, um, yeah, I uh, the reason why I like it nowadays is because, well, um, it's a nice app and I learned a lot and I'm able to speak like a little bit Welsh now and Duolingo says that I learned a um, hundred and eighty words or something and like when you start thinking about it if you didn't know the language in like two months ago this is a lot and I'm learning uh, like vocabulary and grammar through phrase and not like as a single thing like uh, grammar and vocabulary separately like uh, when I was studying uh, Japanese or even now that I'm studying Korean by another website it's so awkward because like they try to teach us the grammar points and by the grammar points they try teaching us the vocabulary and they like they just don't give examples of the grammar points and then after we learn like why we use that as drawing or explains it's like firstly they speak why we use it and then we just use it like once and then we never go back to that place and when uh, we go to the following level we just go to a um, much more advanced thing and with Duolingo it goes like a bit slower and I just don't feel lost I can just like I can understand where I am and I don't feel like um, that I don't know anything or didn't learn anything by that point so yeah I like this my dog is sleeping by my side so I think the video is fine but yeah I think I'm trying my like uh, I'm trying to be me so yeah I have like a lot of versions of me first one I'm quite calm the second one, I'm quite like really active and childish and <laughs> stuff like that. And the third one, I'm really like professional and adult. So, yeah. I'm being the first one now, I think. I just uh, can't be like really active on camera. I'm quite shy about it yet. Maybe one day, but not now. And I really hope that you guys start um, keep watching my videos. And even if I don't really post much, I do plan to keep posting. Even if it's like once a month or something, I do plan on keep posting it because it's something that I like and something that helps you guys. So um, one of the most important things for me is to help others in many different ways and teaching others things that I know and I know that they will um, absorb all that and use for something that is really enjoyable for me and I really think you guys have learned something in this video and consider it a second opportunity to Duolingo and try it again and maybe you were wrong about being bad and yeah maybe it applies to you maybe it doesn't so I think you need to try all the medium that are available for you so you can like know what is good and what is not and what it works and what it doesn't and that, uh, that is how you grow, right? That is how uh, you start uh, being a better person, um, more like understandable person, and also a uh, more like 
full of knowledge or something like that person <laughs> so yeah this was the video and don't miss the following video that I'm planning to do today and yeah give me more ideas of videos to do and I'll be happy to do it and if you're here to uh, here to the end I do ask you to subscribe to my channel down below and maybe if you really liked or if it, uh, this video was really helpful to you maybe hit the like button and yeah um, like send me uh, answers in the video about um, what can I talk about and what do you guys want to learn and maybe what you guys want to learn about Brazil and yeah see you to uh, see you in the next video I was going to say see you tomorrow but I don't think I'm doing a video tomorrow to be honest <laughs> I have classes tomorrow and no <laughs> so see you in the next video Bye!